Oh my god. I'm kind of shocked. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I know this is kind of late in the day. <laughs> After it's all happened, I'm sure you guys already know. But this morning I woke up and I you know, was getting ready for work. And I got to work and I was just taking a look at my phone. And I looked down and I got to see a message on Twitter. It wasn't a message. It was just a tweet. It said Activision was just bought by Microsoft. I was like, there's no fucking way. There's no way. There's no way that's real. And, you know, I let it sit for a moment, and then I checked in on it, and I saw the number. $70 billion. That Basically 70, it was like 68 or 69, but basically $70 billion. For one of the biggest gaming publishers in the world. And Microsoft just bought them. Now, that's fucking crazy. Like, I don't know. I, I know they bought Bethesda, um, uh, Zenimax, I guess. And, you know, they had big deals like Minecraft. And now they have this. They have all these awesome developers. You have Sledgehammer, Raven Software, uh, Toys for Bob. There's Toys for Bob. She never... It's never soft so There's a lot. There's Blizzard, which is really big. And, you know, this is, this is probably the best thing that could have happened to a company like Activision. Because we, we know it's been nothing but toxicity for the last few years. You know, we had people striking, not striking, but walking out in protests of the horrible shit that the people at Activision actually have done to these employees. Now, one of the questions that's been asked a lot is if is Bobby Kotick... Kotick, 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 I don't care, is going to leave. Now, that's a big question. It's in the air. But from basically what I can tell, th this, this transaction ends in June of 2023. That's when it's completely done. But it's already, it's already done. It's a done deal. It just needs to be ironed out with the lawyers, the shareholders, and all that shit in June of 2023. So one of the things that is coming around is that, as of right now, Activision will still act as its own entity. That's until the actual transaction is complete. And Bobby Kotick will still be over CEO of Activision until, you know, whatever happens. Now, I don't see Microsoft keeping Bobby. Bobby. I'm sure he'll get a separation package. Bobby. He'll get a separation package. And I think Microsoft will do really good by getting rid of the assholes and pieces of shit that's causing all these problems. I think they'll do a good, good job of doing that. And I hope that's what happens. Phil Spencer's a pretty good dude. He seems like he, he, he kind of talked about this. But, you know, one of the things was kind of weird was, you know, a while back they said they was looking at their uh, partnership with Activision uh, just due to the things that was happening. I never thought it was going to be, well, we're buying Activision. That's the best thing that could happen for that company, honestly. And it's actually probably the best thing that could happen for the employees of that company. Microsoft's done pretty well in their gaming division. Um, you know, I know what people's going to say. It's a monopoly, which, you know what? It's not. It's not a fucking monopoly. Yeah, Microsoft's got a lot of big hitters. You know, Call of Duty, uh, World of Warcraft... You name it, they've got it. You know, they have Bethesda. And, you know, they're trying to do this for Game Pass. They're trying to increase Game Pass. Uh, right now, there's 25 million users in Game Pass, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Um, you know, this is something we didn't think was going to take off, and it did. It's actually doing wonders, and it's probably the best value in gaming. Now, this sounds like I'm a Microsoft fanboy. I kind of am, but I kind of am not. I, I like to play on everything. And one of the things I was seeing was people like Dreamcast Guy uh, coming on. And I, I like Dream, Dreamcast Guy. I do. He's a Sony pony. He'll admit it. But he was so shocked just throwing around like numbers like $50 billion. Um, he seemed so disappointed that this happened. Which I can see, you know, I guess if you're still... In that system wars mindset that you know PlayStation doesn't have access to these 
that's not known yet. We don't know if Call of Duty and stuff is going to come out on the PlayStation. We don't know that. As of right now, as of, you know, as of right now, they are. They're games coming to PlayStation. Now, I'm sure there will be some contra- contractual uh, things in there, but obviously things like Warzone and uh, stuff like that will be on a, a Sony platform for the foreseeable future. I don't know how long that will be. Um, you know, there's exclusives on both ends of the aisles. Uh, Sony, you know, they're starting to spread out a little bit by putting their exclusive on PC. Microsoft is, you know, their Xbox ecosystem with the PC. And I think ultimately what's going to happen is Game Pass isn't just going to be on cons- on one console. I'm going to see, like, things on TVs, like the smart TV. There might be an Xbox Game Pass app. Maybe the PlayStation and Nintendo... Uh, Maybe they will get an Xbox Game Pass app. Maybe that's the future of gaming. I think that is. Ultimately, I think that's what's happening. Is The future of gaming is the subscription services. And it makes sense for Microsoft to go after these big publishers because the bigger games you have in your sub- service, the more customers you're going to get. I mean, you have a lot of people who's going to come over to Game Pass on Xbox just because Call of Duty, Diablo, StarCraft, Warcraft... Overwatch, which I don't know what happened to Overwatch. Overwatch has kind of disappeared off the radar, actually. I haven't really heard much about that. But a lot of people were kind of pissed off about this, saying it's bad. I don't think this is a bad idea. I mean, Sony buys up studios. Microsoft said they're going to buy some studios. And you know what they did? They bought some studios. They actually, I mean, Microsoft has a deep, deeper wallet than what Sony and Nintendo has. Shit, the actual cost for the the price on Activision Blizzard was like the money they spent on him was worth pretty much all that Nintendo like it would cost to buy Nintendo, like that's true. Like I think uh, market cap for Nintendo is sixty two billion, something like that. I don't I don't like to throw around numbers because I could be wrong, but you know I'm seeing good things on both sides of this. You know, there's creators that. Uh, you know, they think this is great. And then there's creators that don't think this is great. Um, how I see it, this is only good for gaming. This is for gaming. This will help people. I, I'm assuming. I hope so. And I think I, I, think I trust uh, this partnership or not partnership, but now uh, since they own them, basically, things are going to get cleaned up on Blizzard and Activision. We're going to see higher quality stuff, I feel. I, I feel like... Things are going to get better, I think. That's me. I would like to know what you think uh, in the comments below. Also, <laughs> tell me what you think about some of the people. Like your fun, the funniest comment you see in regards to this. I'd like to know your take on it and some of the stuff that you see that you know. You know, it's crazy. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Derek. I definitely appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.